Hey guys, today we have a brand new Minimates review. Today we have the Marvel Minimates Toys R Us Wave 19 Payback Wolverine and Classic Sentinel. Yeah! So this is a stickered exclusive. I say that because they're all exclusive figures from Toys R Us Wave 19 of the Marvel Minimates. <laughs> and this features a Marvel Now Wolverine before he died. Oh, spoiler alert, Wolverine is dead in the comics right now. Um, I don't know how long that's going to last, but he's dead at the moment. But this is how he looked beforehand, and they threw in a classic Sentinel. Because, hey, Sentinel's a safe bet, and it was a good excuse to reuse bits from the Wave 59 Sentinel. So, purple packaging, you got the Toys R Us exclusive sticker, Wolverine and Sentinel. And crazy enough, my camera is actually picking up the portraits as actual faces, which is kind of crazy. Payback Wolverine, the classic Sentinel, and the roster being Quicksilver, Marvel Now Vision, Mysterio, anti sinister 6 Spider-Man, classic Sentinel, Payback Wolverine, Space Armor Iron Man, and Ronin, the Accuser. So, really excited? Let's begin. Payback Wolverine. When an intelligent virus wiped out Logan's healing factor, he walked away from the X-Men and the Avengers and went to work for a crime boss. His new costume better protects him from injury. Classic Sentinel. A robotic soldier originally designed to hunt and neutralize mutants, the Sentinel was developed by the US government in response to what they saw as a threat to all of humankind. First up we have Payback Wolverine. So here is Wolverine in his all-new Marvel Now costume before he died. So yeah, big shocker. Wolverine is quote-unquote dead right now in the comics. Um, we'll see how long that lasts, but this was his design before he died. Again, quote-unquote. And, I mean, it's alright. It's probably my least favorite figure from this wave, just because... There's a giant X on his torso. Eh. And they gave him the Marvel Now Wolverine mask. Just some elements I don't really care for. But the detail itself is really crisp and clean. Again, black and yellow with a big X on his torso. I like the detailing down his arms. It's a nice touch. Some back detailing. Nothing really on his legs, pretty simple. I mean, I don't, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a weird costume, but I mean it works, I guess. I'm much more of a normal Wolverine kind of person, but... And then he's got a snarling face. You can see underneath with a beard. And the Marvel Now Wolverine mask, which is not my favorite piece. But, oh well. I mean, it's just alright. It's just Wolverine and a slightly different looking getup. Articulation-wise, Payback Wolverine can do everything since he's almost entirely vanilla. Except for the mask. And accessory-wise. Display stand, as well as two hair pieces. Now he comes with this sort of flat top hair piece, which is a reuse of Kevin Bacon's character from X Men First Class. It's alright, but then he comes with a standard Wolverine hairdo, which looks a lot better. Overall, Payback Wolverine is just that. Another Wolverine. Next up we have the classic Sentinel. And so here we have a Sentinel. Again, as usual. Something interesting to note is that this Sentinel is almost a complete reissue of the Sentinel from Marvel Minimates Wave 59. Except for one crucial detail. It has a slightly different face. And that's really it. I don't have any figures from that wave, so I can't show off the difference. Um, 
Just take my word for it, I was on the Minimate database, and that's what it said. So anyway, like I said, it's the exact same as the Wave 59 Sentinel, just a different face. Um, so, you've got this torso block, which is a reuse of an Iron Man, but in purple. You've got pink arms and legs and a pink helmet, crotch piece, generic boots. You've got Omega Red's hands, which is surprising. We'll get to that. But we'll get to that in a minute. If you remove the Sentinel's head, um, we get a better look at the actual face. And we've got an open mouth, probably screaming about mutants. As well as some torso detailing of a more standard Sentinel. So if you wanted, you could probably just take all the parts off, make a normal looking Sentinel. But that is up to you. Otherwise, it's a fairly simple Minimate, and they probably just threw this in Wave 19 because they had everything ready to go. Now, is that the best thing? I don't know. It's another Sentinel, which is a nice army builder. And articulation-wise, the classic Sentinel can do some of the normal Minimate things. Shoulder articulation is prohibited. Can't move with the feet. Head can't go up and down at all. And accessory-wise, we have quite a bit. Um, first off, we have a display stand, as usual. But we also have an alternate headpiece, showcasing a battle damage sentinel. Which is really nice. I always like it when they add the broken bits. Modox Flight Stand from Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It's good to see that piece back. So the Sentinel can go flying. But we're not done. You know how I said that we had Omega Red's hands? He also has his tentacles. Very nice. So they just peg in like that. For an incredibly imposing looking Sentinel. I mean, this thing looks like it's ready to take on some mutants. Overall, the classic Sentinel is one imposing Minimate. So, overall, that was the Marvel Minimates Toys R Us Wave 19 Toys R Us Exclusive Payback Wolverine and Classic Sentinel. So, this really isn't my favorite two-pack of this wave. In fact, it's probably my least favorite of the entire wave. Um, I mean, we have a lot of Wolverines, and this Wolverine didn't really bring anything new to the table. The Sentinel's nice, though. Um, it's always nice to have more Sentinels, just to army build. But Wolverine is kind of a bummer. I mean, it's just another costume until he gets a new costume where he comes back from the dead. I don't know what Marvel's doing right now um, with their whole secret wars they're about to launch. But this Minimate is alright. I mean, if you like Wolverine, there are better Wolverines out there. But there's nothing wrong with this Wolverine. It's just a personal preference. But I do like the Sentinel. And if full retail is worth it for a Sentinel, then go ahead. Um, that's just what I think, though. And with that, let's move on to the wave as a whole. So, overall, that was the Marvel Minimates Toys R Us Wave 19. Wow, you know... It was really nice to finally look back at some comic stuff. You know, Marvel's really been pushing for their movie stuff as of late, so obviously Diamond Select has to follow. But it was nice just to return to formula, get some bright, shiny comic stuff. I mean, we're getting four waves of Age of Ultron, a blind bag set, and an unannounced set. So, we're going to be looking at a lot of movie stuff in the near future. But for now, nice comic stuff. That's what I like. Vision has to be an early nomination for Best Mini Mate of the Year. Quicksilver's awesome. I really dig Ronin. While I know a lot of people aren't a fan of the Iron Man armor, I dug the figure. I thought it was pretty cool. Spider-Man and Mysterio are swanky. 
I think the only real duds of the set are Wolverine, just because it doesn't really feel any different as a figure, and the Sentinel, because it's barely a new figure. Other than that, though, very, very good figures. Um, is this my favorite Toys R Us wave? Probably not, but we've got some really good figures in here. Um, I do just want to say, though, I'm sorry for taking so long to get these videos up. There is this weird gap between the Spider-Man and the Vision reviews, mostly because YouTube decided to not let me upload a video for two weeks. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think about this whole wave in the comments, and did you like the videos? Well then rate, comment, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you later.